Here you go. Explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. <laughs> Keep your chin up. Still alive? Good. Let's go. Shouldn't waste any more. Thank <laughs> you. 
Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. Still alive? Good. Let's go. We shouldn't waste any more time. Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway.
Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time. I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. Benny, my sir. Thank you. That's really generous. May his light guide you. Yes? My sir? Exhausted soul, aren't you? Are you sure you want to keep going like that? I mean, like that? Oh, come on! Don't you think I see how you're slaving away? You can hardly put one foot before the other. Look how exhausted you are. And this armor. Whew, it must weigh tons. Thank Malphus, I have just the right thing for you. A way to ease your travels. A mount. And you know what? Today's your lucky day. If you agree to help me out with a little problem of mine, I'll give you one for free. Men, that's just how they are. Naraldolf, a troll. For two months now, every night, I've been hearing this horrible, bloodthirsty grunting near the farm. The guard says I'm only imagining it. But trust me, I've seen enough of the world to know troll noises when I hear them. When it all started, the grunting came from back in the forest. But it's gotten closer each night. And I'm sure that thing is out for my animals. So, what do you say? You kill Nardal for me, and in return, you will get one of my very best donkeys for free. Whirlwind. And believe me, he lives up to his name. What? That doesn't ring a bell. Noraldolf? As in, THE Noraldolf? From the fairy tale, The Seraph and the Beast. Considering how horrible the grunting sounds, that name seemed fitting to me. But call him what you want, it doesn't matter. As long as you kill him. Oh, that should be pretty easy. Just wait until shortly after midnight and then scout the area. Eventually, you'll hear that grunting I told you about, then just find out where it comes from. And needless to say, be careful. You look like you can take care of yourself, otherwise I wouldn't have asked. But these beasts are not to be underestimated. Oh, yes. My 
Meissner, please. The Lord will redeem you for your kindness. And here we are. And here we are. Welcome to Ark. I've got some things to take care of here. So let's meet at the market once you're ready to meet Grandmaster Teolor Orenthiel and his mages in person, all right? Oh, sure, I should have thought of that. Pardon me. All right then. Ark is divided into five districts, not counting the harbor. The foreign quarter, where we are right now, the marketplace, the nobles' quarters, the south quarter, and the temple. If you're looking to gear up, I guess the market would be the place to go. You can find anything there, from food to weapons, armor, and whatever else you need. If it's magical supplies and alchemy you need, however, you best try your luck in the nobles' quarters. But prepare yourself for some dismissive looks. Up there's also the bathing house and the theater, in case you have the coin for that. Finally, there's the temple, which is hard to overlook. Normal citizens are not permitted to enter it. And from up there, the Holy Order reigns over this country. But if all goes according to plan, you'll soon see it from the inside. And then there's the Undercity. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. And it isn't. The Undercity is a cluster of caves directly beneath our feet. And down there is where the poor and the sick live. Not to mention those that the Order doesn't like to see in their neat, pretty streets in the Upper City. Not a place I'd recommend you visit, at least not unless you're looking for mischievous things. Great. Then see you later and enjoy your stay. My sir, do you have a moment? I think the two of us could do business together. What? Oh, yes, sure. What do you need?
What? Oh, yes, sure. What do you need? My sir, do you have a moment? I think the two of us could do business. Well, it is actually quite simple. But since you were kind enough not to just ignore me and walk by as the others did, I would like to show my gratitude for that first. You travel a lot, don't you? I can tell by the mud on your boots. Here, one of these books might come in handy on your journeys. Which one do you prefer? Splendid! Say, would you happen to be interested in earning yourself some more coins? Or, even better, more books like those? There is something I need help with. I have a problem, and this problem is called Celia, which happens to be my sister. Where should I start? You know, I am one of those people who wasn't given everything by fate. Quite the contrary, in fact. When I was a child, the village I grew up in, Foamville, was ambushed by bandits, and both my father and my mother died during the attack. Believe me, I wouldn't tell you this if it weren't necessary. Fact is, my sister and I dealt with this event differently. We managed to flee the attack and make it to Ark, where the guards, of course, threw us into the Undercity. But while I tried to honor my father's heritage by using the little I could from our savings by setting up a business, she preferred to wallow in her misery instead. She got to know the wrong people and has, since then, never done a single bit of honest work. Frankly, she's a dust addict. Day and night she does nothing else but rot in those drinking holes in the Undercity and blows what little money she makes on her drage. Now, of course, she is still my sister. So all of these years, I paid her rent so she doesn't have to sleep on the streets. However, things have changed. Recently, she started using our father's heritage to pay for her addiction. And I will not accept that. Well, technically it's our money. Basically, it was a share our father had in a small business here. He was so proud of it, you wouldn't believe it. Luckily enough, I managed to save that paper from the bandits and turned it in at the bank a few years ago, after I realized how valuable it was. Since then, it has turned into quite a formidable sum. Nothing huge, of course, but enough to save my business from bankruptcy. You understand? In theory, it is our money, but... Without me, she would probably have sold it for a bottle of ale, and I won't let her spit on our father's heritage that way. <laughs> oh, believe me, I did. Which is why she simply hid the key to our safe in the bank somewhere that I couldn't find it. So, long story short, this is where you come in. I want you to get her to give me that key. How you do it is up to you. But if you succeed, it won't be to your disadvantage. Anywhere there's rats and dust. But she spends most of her time in the false dog in the Undercity. One of those dumps I told you about. Just come back to me once you've found something.
Uh. Oh, lovely adherers of the crunchy pleasures. Pro in delight as your teeth sink Walk into blessed, the my golden friend. brown loaf of dessert. our unrivaled fresh and tasty right bread. A visit to our gallery. Dozens of beautiful paintings by different artists, each of them a treat for the eye. Come now for tomorrow, you may not have a chance. Well, look who's arrived. Did you have any problems finding your way around? The city can be quite a maze if you don't know it. Lost heir to the throne, son of Glorious has, after decades of imprisonment by his treacherous son, Right, you're from Austin. I almost forgot. They're quite fascinating, these places, aren't they? You can climb high, and you can fall just as deep. And every place vibrates with life. Second in command, and no one else but Tilor Arendil himself shall leave this holy city from this day on. Here, put this on. His and before you ask, yes, it's necessary. Just trust me. Our way through these troubled times. Right Cherish, the oh brothers and sisters. Cherish and thank the Lord for his mercy. Is it Malfas who carries the sun? So, about this fever, usually those gifted with magic have to report their talent to the Order, and then pass a ritual that teaches them how to deal with their magic. The journey to the water is what they call it. Once they've passed that, the fever reduces to an endurable level, and new arcanists have their names registered in some kind of holy book. But there are other ways to get rid of the fever, and I hope my employer can tell you about them. This is holy ground, Outlander. You do not belong here. Pathlessness, wherever you look, where is this supposed to lead? Thou art my light, my glimmer at the horizon. change have you heard it apparently the blue islands coalition sent an emissary here to endwell despite the wars they are bold Got to get
Huh? What do you want? This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Walk blessed. Walk blessed. An Outlander. What are you doing in this part of the city? Shouldn't you be, uh, I don't know, somewhere else? Okay, almost there. It, my sir. No civilians beyond this point without explicit permission. Who are you and what leads you to this holy place? Business. I'm Jaspar Belveric, and I work for the Naramese mages. Oh, right. The mercenary. And who's your companion? Marijo de Luna from Ostian. Esteemed holder of de Luna's Empire of Tender Fragrance, the most prestigious perfumery in all of Vin. Archmagister Marigil sent for him. Didn't he tell you? The Archmagister. Um, well, that does sound like him. Fair enough, you may pass. But show this place the respect it deserves, mercenary. You too, my Sir De Luna. You have my word, fair lady. Thank you. This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Well, that went better than expected. Hey, it worked, didn't it? That's all that matters. Nobody will suspect someone who's already in the temple. Anyway, I think it's about time I tell you a little bit more about this employer of mine. His name is Constantine Firespark, and he's one of Narathsel Orenthiel's former followers, which the new Grand Master, Teolor Orenthiel, brought here by ship about two years ago. That means he's one of the former arch enemies of the Order. They usually wear green, while the Order wears white or red. That should make it easy for you to tell them apart. Firespark's pretty much the eldest of Narathsel's mages, and quite well versed in magic, at least from what I've heard. Plus, he's a very gentle and likable fellow, which is why even the Keepers like having him around. Let's hope he can tell us a thing or two about these visions, and help you get rid of the fever. Come, follow me. Huh? Keep your chin up. Not how you do it. Blazes are just. It. I'm just being careful. We have like to. heck we do. Give me that thing. Now. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Blast 
erupted, blistering blazes. Unreliable. I, uh, that's what they That's are. what you get All for working with fumblers. I <clears> told <throat> you we Master should fire be spark. careful. What? Now who the heck are you? Can't an old man have a moment to himself? Blazes, I just um, bloody you hired blood. me. The Magister, don't you remember? Oh, right. Joseph the Scrounger. So why are you here? Had any luck? Just spar. And yeah, we did find something. I... Suggest you first of all tell me when I allowed you to drag your drinking mates up here. Do you need me to explain the meaning of the words highly and confidential to you? I'm sure there's a lot you can explain to me, but let's save that for later. This particular fellow over here needs your help, to be frank. Arcane fever. Is that so? And what exactly has that got to do with me? Let the Keepers and their holy rituals take care of it. What is it with the costume, anyway? This man's magic is different, my sir. Just feel his aura and you'll see it. Plus, he's from Nerim, just as you are. Eh. Uh, well, all right then, for nostalgia's sake. I really hope you're not wasting my time, though. Working with these religious buffoons is bound to make any rational thinking person go bonkers. Anyway, that chair over there. Take a seat, and I'll have a look at that fever of yours. All right, then. This will tickle a little. Hmm, yeah, you're right. This aura does feel different. Complex somehow, and mm, powerful. And do you really want to tell me you've only recently discovered that talent of yours? With that aura, I'm surprised that you haven't turned into an Obaya by now. Hmm. Fine, fine. I, I, well, that is, we will help you. But first, tell me everything. How you got that magic, and how you met that scrounger. Hmm, I see. Regarding this vision thing, I think that your mind simply played a trick on you there. Not that it's much of a surprise, considering what you've been through. Actually, you were quite lucky that the sudden outburst of your glance didn't blow your head right off. Ah, uh, well, if that's what you want to believe, go for it. I, in any case, have never come across such a phenomenon in over 50 years of studying magic. And now we should... It all begins with the dreams. What the? Blasted, blistering blazes! Does this room look like the bosom of a whore to you? Or what makes you think you can go around touching anything you get your fingers on? These documents are confidential for heck's sake. I knew it was a mistake to hire a thug like you. Lashery always had a weakness for- Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember you telling me something about dreams that led you and Teal or Renthiel here, didn't you, my sir? And you told me that in this vision of yours, the Veiled Woman said this. It all begins with the dreams. What? Is that true? Oh. Then- this near-death experience you had before you woke up on the shore. Tell me again, what exactly did you see in it? A room? Hmm. Well, this... this is strange indeed. Anyway, for now all that matters is that we get that magic of yours under control. Whatever you clairvoyanced back there is of no use to us if you're dead as a doornail in a couple of months. Well, that's usually a plodding process. The fever you feel is a result of your mind not being able to handle all of these possibilities, so to speak. The ritual the Andraleans practice to get the glance under control is called the Journey to the Water. Put frankly, it means one year of hour-long meditation, 
bland food and abstinence from anything that makes life worth living. In due time, the Arcanist then learns to filter these other realities from ours, and the fever gets less and less. Anyhow, luckily enough, we Neremese know of a way to quicken that process. A shortcut, if you will. I'm not capable of performing it, but another one of us is. Her name is Lashery, and you should seek her out as soon as possible. There is indeed, and this reason is called ignorance. The Order's rituals haven't changed since the Lightborn slipped out of their cradles, and the Keepers do their best to keep anything progressive out of their country. But please, if you're up for a year of austerity and stern-faced Magisters scolding you, go for it. I really don't care. She's currently in a ruin called Old Rationgrad, not far from Ark. Just tell her that I sent you. Ah, give me that map of yours. Okay, now you'd have to be a total idiot to miss it. I recommend leaving for the ruin straight away. And you, Joseph, you're going to come with me and show me what your trip to the Sun Coast brought forth. Hopefully, more than a bottle of honey wine and a hangover. Quite a character, isn't he? But I like him somehow. Here, I owe you this for your help back in Riverville. Uh, and in case you're in the mood for a mug of ale and a good chat, just drop by the Dancing Nomad in the Stranger's Quarter. I'll get myself a room there for the time being. With all that said, good luck mastering your magic, my friend. I'll see you around. Oh, you're here. I thought you were in the city. No, the Archmagister ordered me back. It's good to be here, to be honest. Man's I could have done without Places. them, though. Sorry. I don't doubt it. I know. I can't sing. I still can't believe that really happened. Brother Yarrow, he was such a good man. I don't think the Red Madness cares much about that. Probably not, no. I wonder how it happens the infection what do you mean walk blessed the red eyes and the obvious madness oh yes guess what there is some people just don't get the meaning of the word reliability someone else is afflicted why scared you've caught it are you that is not funny huh you're not from the order are you then i wonder what the blazes you're doing here but, fine. Who am I to reject a helping hand? Elia, the novice who was assigned to me. She's supposed to help me transcribe these Pyrian tomes the Grand Master is so obsessed about. But two days ago, she simply vanished. If I were to guess, I'd say she's strolling around enjoying herself somewhere in the Noble's Quarter. I'd go look myself, but I'm lucky if I get to breathe within all this work. Go find her, and tell her to get her bloody ass up here and help me. If you do that, it won't be to your disadvantage.
This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Magister Karus has been looking for you. Karus? Why's that? I don't know, but I think it's about the tome he wanted you to transcribe. Ah, I thought... well, never mind. But by the way, have you seen this new... Neremese mage woman? Pegas, or whatever her name was. I've heard about her, yes. She's the Scarab, isn't she? Yes, that's what she looks like at least. But she's from Austria, just like that messier fire spark and the coal man shot it. Honestly, I don't know what to think of all of this. Wild mages here are... Walk blessed. Yes? What are you doing here? Between hobbles um excretion between darkness and light. May your path all I I think I've seen you before, haven't I? You work for the Order. Do you know who those wild mages up in the temple are? I mean, sure, if the Grand Master trusts them, who am I to doubt his decision? Still, no. Him of the Desert King. Dark as the sun, light as the night. Huh, quite the weapon you got there. I really hope you use it for the right cause. Hey, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Hmm? I bet you... One day, I'm gonna be an adventurer. And I'm gonna explore the entire world. Yes? Well, I might, but I'm sure as heck not going to tell you, Moonskin. 
Now leave me alone. I don't have time for chit-chat. <laughs> of course. Especially to people of your kind. Now excuse me. I have to go. Yes? Yes? There you are. I've been looking for you all over the city. Oh, by Malthus, did you hear the news? Mithrael Birdsong is coming to Ark. What? Oh, by the righteous path, this is incredible! I... What's he gonna play? Please tell me that he's going to sing how compares to thy golden hair. Play all of the new songs from his latest songbook. But and now, okay. brace what yourself. kind of honor is that? Word has it that at the end of each performance, he takes one woman up on the stage to sing, Thou art my sweet uh, spring blossom of her. Here. What? what? Oh, by the seven, that's my favorite. It's so romantic. Especially in the last verse when it goes like, The wind blows. Hello. Oh, yes, I know that feeling. Is yes. it important? Well, I might. But I'm sure as heck not going to tell you, Moonskin. Now leave me Hello. alone. Hello. I don't have time for chit chat. Yes? What are you doing here? Wow, that's nice armor you're wearing there. Hmm? Oh my, oh my, now who is this? To see you here fills me with bliss. Cause I can tell just from your eyes you search for magical disguise. Well, you can buy such from the stash of Emberlord and Fireflash. I've seen this face, so yes, hooray! What can I do for you today? Oh, this one is curious. I'm sad to have to tell you this. Even though I'm not furious, my secrets stay in the abyss. Oh, blazes. You're right. I didn't see that question coming, that's all. But how goes the saying, practice makes perfect? Next time I'll be prepared. Ah, the business didn't go well in the past moons, that's all. Hardly any travelers or outlanders anymore. 
And the Arcanists of the Order prefer to get their supplies elsewhere since Grand Master Aranthiel has returned. Well, since I have a son to feed, I had to think of something. That tip with the rhyming came from my brother-in-law, Doral. He's with the Sickle and came back from a journey to Kilae just recently. He said that he visited a lecture from a Kalean merchant there. And he said that in order to be successful nowadays, one needs a, um, unique selling proposition. Yes, that's how he called it. Something to distinguish him or herself from the competition. Correct. I know I'm not the best poet, but I'm sure you'll remember bartering at Emberlord and Fireflash better than with that goat-faced vagabond woman Stonehand down at the market. My wares it is you want to see. I promise you, they'll bring you glee. Adventurer, aren't you? I bet you've got a lot of stories to tell. What? Now look at that. A new face. How can Gaborgabov serve you today? Uh, a Perean dagger, mayhaps? No? How about an ancient claymore for the steps of Eresiel? Wait. Say that again. Oh, by the name of the sun! You're near a maze, aren't you? And even better, you're from Ostian. Oh, by the now deceased seven gods. What brings you here? To Enderal, I mean. Indeed, I am. And before you ask, I fled, just as you probably did. Even though the artist inside of me loves the chaos, the family man doesn't. At least not enough that he would risk the life of his family. <laughs> and well, now here I am. By the face of time, what a dull place this is. The people here, this endless rambling about the path and Malthus. <laughs> I would have never thought the Order could actually succeed in keeping the truth about the Lightborn's death from the people so long. But in a place like this, that problem pretty much solves itself, it seems. The people here are so obstinate, I was surprised to find out they do not still pray to a Ceteron. Certainly. Just take your time. Safe travels. A 
potion to cure red madness. Would that be something? A penny, my sir. Please, just one penny. Thank you. That's really generous. May his light guide you. Oh, my sir. What a How pleasure to see you. Make me How are you faring? I think I've Fine. seen you before, you. haven't I? And you? Well, as good as can be expected oh, under the circumstances, oh, I suppose. Away you go! I mean, the hard times we live in. But yes. Walk blessed. Hey, wait a minute, you... Uh, never mind. Oh, um... You're an outlander, aren't you? From Orazio. Your skin, it looks... Um... Different. The best wine in all of Enderon. Come, give it a try. Naren, you say? Huh. But still, your mother must have told you a lot about her homeland, didn't she? Is it true that Orazilian people are, well, divided? That they are the civilized who worship the Lightborn and the savages in the steppes? If that's right, which did your mother belong to? And that's exciting, really. You know, once this chaos in the world is over, I want to go travel myself. Who knows? Maybe a captain will hire me as a deckhand. Anyway, thanks for your time. Walk blessed. Oh, um, you're an outlander, aren't you? From Orazio. Your skin, it looks, um, different. Forget as much. What do you want? Safe travels. Peace now rule the lands. Empty graves were dug under the sky. But never did she doubt it. Yes. What are you doing here? Stepped out into the cold. Him of the Desert King. Dark as the sun, light as the night. Uh, thousand raindrops, red and small. <clears throat> yes? So many strange faces. Well, isn't it nice? Yes? As I said, 
The offer stands. Just think about it, okay? I will. Take care. Wait a moment. <coughs> You're an outlander, aren't you? Be no bad, so. Come on, take a seat. Oh, yes. So, tell me, how are you holding up? It must have been quite the whirlwind. Yesterday, a refugee from another country, and now a prodigy with a magic great enough to impress old Bushybeard. Well, that's good to hear. I'm quite curious to see how things keep on with you. You're different. I noticed that the time we met. Anyhow, tell me. What do you make of this country now that you've had some time to look around? I figure it must be quite the change from Narim. Shoot! <laughs> yeah, I can picture that. You know, this is exactly the reason why I love inns so much. The sky can rain fire out there. In here, you'll always meet laughter and good humor. Not to mention all the good-looking men and women. Absolutely. Though I think I've seen enough of this place by now. Of Enderol, I mean. There's a ship sailing for Kile next morning. And as it seems, it will be the last one for quite some time to come. Who knows? Maybe they still have a cabin to spare for a handsome treasure hunter. <laughs> oh well. This entire thing was more a coincidence than planned anyhow. The Order needed someone with skill and discretion, and I was around. End of story. I never intended to stick around for much longer. Heck, <laughs> me as an ambassador of the Holy Order, could you imagine that? Not one step further, O oh fair maiden. Drop your garment so we may both bathe in Malthus's holy light. Hmm. Actually, not that bad, don't you think? Oh, you're too kind. But you know, at the end of the day, I guess I'd probably lack both the pathos and the idealism for such a profession. You know, I'm aware of how these esteemed keepers up there talk about sellswords like me. I could save 30 virgins from a myrid on Rampage. At the end of the day, they'd always say I did it for the money, because I wanted to bed the women, or whatever. I'm driven by inferior motives. While no matter what their actions end in, they are good guys, because they do things for the right reasons. If only they'd understand that it's results that matter, not intentions. What does the wise hermit say? Nothing is of less importance to the saved than the reason for their rescue. The only difference between a mercenary like me and a holy warden is that I'm at least aware of the fact that I do what I do for myself and no one else. I'm trying to say that all those heroes and self-declared messiahs are no better than everyone else. In the end, we are all selfish because we always act in accordance to what we think we have to be like. So yes, Maybe the Keeper saves the farmer from the bandits. But at the end of the day, he does it because he sees himself in a certain light. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that a lot of times, it's especially those who think of themselves driven by a higher purpose who are the really dangerous ones. They don't understand what drives them, and that makes them easy to manipulate. The only thing left to do for the capable hate monger or tyrant is to somehow combine his own ambitions with the mental image of this person. And presto, you've got your perfect puppet only waiting to dive into the next hail of arrows for their honor, their religion, or whatever they thought of this time. It's just so idiotic, you know? The world would be a much better place if everyone could just acknowledge that the only reason we're here is that we want to be happy. If you say so. In any case, what is empty is my glass of wine, which is why I'll take my leave now. I very much enjoyed our talk, but the ship of Kile leaves before the first Cox Crow tomorrow, and I want some more time to think about it.
Well, it most recently gained a good-looking Narmese man. Maybe that'll make up for when I leave. Keep your chin up. May. Hey, roast pork. Anyone? Fassi's blessings. May your path always be in the bed. So Oi, you there. Da, don't look at me like that. Looking for trouble, eh? S stop ignoring me. Oh. You, you bloody flood your eyes on me, woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you think I haven't noticed, don't you? You, you say sorry at once, so I'll, uh, I'll smack your mouth. They just sit on their asses and hope things settle themselves. Idiots. <laughs> oh, that you'd like to know, huh? So you can... you can do... Do you, sir? Me Bernadette! Don't bloody think I'm stupid.
Uh huh. Then you, you, you want to deduce me, don't you? What else would you want? I knew it the moment I saw you. You... Okay, then listen up, pal. I'm way above your league. <laughs> Apologize. Right now, or you'll see me get real angry. <sighs> Why, you, you think you can mock me? <laughs> All right. You'll regret this. Okay, I just leave me alone. Oh, damn bullies. Okay, I okay, I just leave me alone. Oh, damn bullies. Mister. my friend. Hmm? You look disheartened. And I have just the right thing for you. A visit to our gallery. Dozens of beautiful paintings by different artists, each of them a treat for the eye. Come now for tomorrow, you may not have a chance. No? I thought so. Then have a nice day. <sighs> That's one way to put it. Truth be told, if the Golden Sickle doesn't decide to leave a barrel full of coin on our doorstep tomorrow, we won't be able to pay rent much longer. Especially now that my esteemed mother has decided to play hermit. <laughs> wow. Listen to me. A month ago, I would have been too proud to admit this. Now I shouted at a complete stranger. Well, what I said. For months, she has not reacted to our letter, nor sent one herself. And what's worse, she hasn't sent us any new paintings. Which is one of the reasons why this place isn't going so well. And in case you wonder why we just don't visit her, my mother was always a little... special. And where she resides reflects that. The Dark Valley. You do that. That's... Uh, quite the offer, to be honest. A word of warning in advance. I cannot pay you. That is, unless you're interested in a painting from Prince Myth. But I warn you, they're as bad as his poems. Hmm. Yes, maybe she can. It might be worth a try. My mother and I, we don't exactly have a uh, good relationship. But still, I need to know she's all right. You said you travel a lot, so you have a map with you, right? Show me. So there you go. That's where her hut should be, at least approximately. Good luck, and uh, thanks. My, my sir, you look as though you have a kind heart. Please, spare a penny for me. Malfas, smile upon you. Malfas, smile upon you. We're watching you sleep. I'm busy. Go pester someone else, will ya? My sir. Move along. 
Go away! You're scaring him! It's him. It's the Black Guardian. Don't you fear it? Pity. He was a good man. Why are you stopping? You don't look like you belong here. Obvious, my sir. Please. Lord will redeem you for your kindness. Come to bed. Talk mm -hmm. to Rash. What do you want? Grandma Rasha's home for lost kittens. Honestly, if you need to ask, then you sure as fuck don't belong here. Go back to your bathing houses and galleries, sun child. Ooh, how eloquent. You're from the surface, aren't you? No, don't say anything, I can tell. No cave dweller gets that much sun on his pretty face. So, you want to fight, huh? You do have muscle, I'll give you that. And good posture. You're the tavern brawler type, aren't you? Well, sure, why not? You do know that we're not doing tumbles down here, right? If you fight well, you can make a lot of money fighting here. But if you don't, well, you can imagine. Usually, yeah. Sometimes the loser pleads for mercy, but the crowd doesn't like it. Huh. All right. First of all, you'll need to sign this, though. If you can read and write, sign with your name. If not, with a cross. Thank you. Then we can start right away. And, ah, uh, one more thing. I always found this a bit silly. But the crowd always wants a name they can shout to the ring when you're bashing someone's head in. You know, the fighter, the butcher, stuff like that. So, what do you want? Uh, great. Really. Fair enough. If you want, you can dive right into the ring. There'll be a pack fight in a couple of hours. Well, that depends on the bets. So I can't tell you yet. But if you win, oh, it'll be well worth it. Eager, aren't you? Good. Just go down to the training dummies. I'll call you when we begin. Madame and Maysers, a 
cordial welcome to the dust pit. You know who I am, I know who you are, and above all, I know why you are here today. Because you want to see a fight? Today, there are four rookies in the ring, and they all share the same dream, to become the champion of the arena. Ah, oh, can you see them shiver, the sweat glistening on their foreheads? They are afraid. And rightfully so, because they know only one of them will leave the pit on both legs. Madame and May Sirs, I proudly present Kata Tanner's daughter called the Storm. Simael Roth called the Vagabond. And Thomas Shagar, also known as the Derwin. And last but not least, the unknown warrior who is only known by his moniker, the uh, Destroyer. Now, enough of the words. Fight!
Russia. If we don't get the money until tomorrow, there will be consequences. So handle it. But... <sighs> Fine. Do this. I'll see what I can do. Good girl. A lot to share. Place my money on the eternity. Well fought. Well thought, really. Here's your share. Pardon my language, but none of your fucking business. Well, aren't you a piece of work? Still got blood and dust on your skin and already begging for the next battle. Come by in a couple of days and ask again, will you? I got things to take care of. So long. Hmm? What? What do you want? To cock at me? Just... just leave. Please. Yeah? What do you want? Evening. Move along. My sir. Move along. Go! Go away! You're scaring him! Obs Don't feel.
pity. He was a good man. Walk blessed, my sir. Oh, Walk awful. blessed, my sir. That bad. That smelled like booze and broke down crying while we were at it. My, my, Malfa, smile upon you. Malfa, smile upon you. Huh? Polite, plain, witty. Oh, well, you can't have it all. At least you didn't have to deal with that poet yet. Poet? I could imagine worse. I'm talking about Prince Myth. Oh, him. Yeah, him. Honestly, if he ever reads me one of his sonnets again, I can't guarantee for anything. Ever tried plugging your ears? Wouldn't he notice? <laughs> I doubt that. Just flash a smile and applaud every now and then. If you say so. Trust me. Huh? Give it a try. Huh? Huh? Yes. Penny, my sir, please. Oh, Penny. Soon. You're not one of the relax. Good evening. Foreigner, huh? What a surprise. Have you heard the news about the Magister? Word has it that he murdered 30 novices, then killed himself up in the temple. <sighs> By Malthus, what has become of this world?
Good evening. Yes? Morales blessings, my friend. Well, flea isn't exactly the right word for it. I call it tactical relocalization. Only a stupid businessman will try to sell spices amidst a civil war. Well, um, they are blasphemy. What else? The gods have reigned win for millennia. Whoever thinks one could just kill the gods as they could kill a rabbit must be another fool. Oh, well, after those rumors about the Lightborn's death started, the council members must have thought, now's the time for power struggles. Very stupid, if you ask me, and very bad for the economy. Thank the sun, I was one of the few who fled early enough. But this madness has cost far too many lives. Far too many. Farewell. Good evening. Good evening. Yes? Monsieur? Huh? An outlander, aren't you? Hmm. Let me think. You could ask old Taiwan from Screws, Hats, Odds and Ends, Incorporated. He might have something. Or the Golden Sickle, if you're not afraid of hard work. They're always looking for deer tellers. evening.
Hey, you there. Yes, you. Can you spare a moment for him? He would be very grateful. Hey, you there. Yes, you. Can you spare a moment for him? He would be very grateful. Your help. Tell him, do you have good eyes? Good, very good. Let him cut to the chase. He is in dire need of eggs. Lots of eggs. And he wants you to help him. A half-starling, yes. But unfortunately, he's not from Anku, if that's what you would have asked next. Which is something he really regrets. This world, it's so dirty, so loud. But, well, what can you do? One is what one is. <sighs> he is not talking about common eggs. Do you see those brown hammerbirds circling over the heartland? 
In many other countries, such as Nerim or Kira, their hatchlings are brought up to be letter birds. He wants to raise such letter birds for a special purpose. So, what do you say? Will you help an old starling? The ancient fathers would thank you for it. He's sure of that. Oh, that's hard to explain. He doubts you would understand. But it has to do with our lost home, the Star City. Yes, the place we starlings come from, and where we are destined to return to eventually. Don't you know the stories? There's a city far up in the sky, and all the worldly suffering doesn't exist there. But this is no place to talk about that. There are books which could explain our prophecies a lot better than he ever could. Well, that is the part where your good eyes come into play. All you need to do is follow the movements of the birds flying above the sea here and in its vicinity. Eventually, they will return to their nests, and that's where you can find the eggs. Just come back once you've found a good handful or more. He will wait for your return. Kirash, what the? You gave me a scare, damn it. What do you want? I beg your pardon? Granting, I'm praying. By the name of the sun, don't you Sharees have any decency? Shall the ghosts of the sand take you, you ignorant excretion of a desert worm? You rancorous child of a camel! You... Wait a second. What is that? I... What... What the blazes was that? Oh, really? Saldrin, shield me from your wit. What I mean is how the heck does a troll get so close to the city gates? These guards are getting sloppier by the week. Anyway, I guess I owe you some thanks. Without your help, that would have ended differently. Now, excuse me, I have to get back to the city.
Some people just don't know their path. You don't know shit, boy. I'd rather go tap dance in front of the true Chessa than work for a Killian. But I don't need to fight. Greetings. Yes? I'm a sir. Walk blessed. Huh? Can I help you? Mm hmm The light fades away at the end of the day. Ta -dum -dum. Yes? Can I help you? Walk blessed, my sir. In the Shackles of Lust, presented by the Poets. That's just how it is. What? Yes? Under it is so many strange Hello. faces. Well then, you've come to the right place. The finest beds in the finest rooms, and Ark's finest tavern. What else could you wish for? 
Music to my ears. If you need anything else, drink some stew. Just let me know. Safe travels. Malfas's blessings. The best wine in all of Indoro. Come, give it a try. The black guardian We stray from our path If we lose our way He drags us down To the endless void below Yes? Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes? So, any progress? Yes, I've heard as much. Poor guards. This Quiranian Shriamga surely lit some fire under their buttocks. But he's right. Hard times we are in if a troll can roam so close to the walls, while the guards play Morala's dice in the tavern. Anyway, thank you. I'll sleep a lot better now that this thing is over with. Follow me. Here you go. This is Wellwind. You get him for free, as promised. Take good care of him, will you?
to flee. <laughs> Oh, you're here. I, um, didn't know you were on patrol today, too.
You look as if you know this area well, don't you? Yes. I need some advice. So Hear my words, O oh path abiding people of this holy city. Many of you may have heard it already. There's wolf. They just sit on their asses and hope things settle <sighs> themselves. Come so to your info shops and buy fish. Only the best and I'm fresh from the Red Sea. Bananas, I have fresh fruits right from the farmer's coast, and you do get them. Right from Kiva. Take a look. Hammers, daggers, so looking for steel. Everything for the path abiding soldier. Everything for the path abiding soldier. In everything for the path abiding soldier. My sir.
<sighs> Mister? Yes? Hmm? What do you want? Oh, hello. I have been. Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free to take. Oh, a bit of this. What blessed? Yes? Walk blessed. <laughs> There's always work. But if the sickle were to trust every day laborer who came along, we would have already gone bankrupt before the first vassals had even set foot on this land. If you really mean it, then you will have to prove it. It's that simple. Well, just ask around and see if you can lend a hand. And now excuse me, I've got business to attend to. Are you joking? Are you just plain stupid? You haven't helped anyone yet. Don't waste my time. afterwards. This must be the red madness everyone's talking about. <sighs> oh, blazes. Where's this supposed to lead? Tips. <sighs> Just be wary of your outside city walls. I guess you've noticed as much already, but this country has seen better days. Farewell. 